Hello gamers and welcome to Let's Play Transport Fever. I've meant to Let's Play this game for a long time. I did play the release version for more than 30 hours, but then I got ill and then I didn't find the time. So finally, now with the gameplay patch out, I want to try it again. And also let's play it. Let's go for German town, English town names. Safe. And let's go medium difficulty, medium world size. Vampiro is the seed, so you can you can actually play it as well. Okay, it's loading time is okay. So there are lots of changes. For example, uh, you can now decide on which platform your trains shall stop at the train station. Also, you, there's an unload option, unload all. You can also prohibit uh, lines from picking up certain cargo, which is pretty amazing. Also, ships can now apparently transport various kinds of cargo at the same time. Okay, let's first pause and activate or not. Oh yeah, maybe the land use and definitely the lines here. What shall we do? Passengers or goods? There's a farm here. That could be a nice farm line that can also be used for connecting these cities. Uh, also, there's wood here. And I can actually use uh, this road. This would be a nice shortcut here. So I'm actually inclined to start with this. It'll cost maintenance. Then again, everything costs maintenance. The trucks, if they don't do anything super, they cost maintenance as well. Is that a small road? Medium road? How fast are the trucks? We shall see. Okay, let's first build a cargo station, a cargo terminal, a truck station. Let's go for a normal one. I can rotate with M and N. Where's the cheap place to build? would be 22,000 ain't that bad. This is way too expensive. So I think it'll be on this side. Also they've changed um, things so you can play uh, build lines closer together and right next to buildings and stuff so this has been improved. You can also look through tunnels so I'm looking forward to our first tunnel. Yeah, let's do it like this. And then also build one down here. A truck station. Yeah, I'm going to build it here. Here would be, sh it would be cheaper here though. Yeah, because why not? I might come from this side with the wood, but then I will maybe travel down on this other side with the boards. So let's build it here. What type of road is it? Can't see, but I think it's a small one. So let's build a small country road or first the What's that? Street modification tool. Cool. Is that new? Okay. I th no, it's not new. I can improve the streets. So I can just start with a cheap one, I think. Is that as cheap as it can be? Let's see. Is it worth building this road for... 64k? I think it is. This would be even better, shorter, but I think it's too expensive with $113,000. Why is it dollars? Probably it didn't change it to something else. Uh, yeah, let's build it like this. Let me quickly see the options if I can change the currency. Oh no, but well, it's okay. 
There might be viewers from the States as well. Okay. Now, the depot. Where is the depot? It is here. I'm going to build it down here because I might use it for other stuff as well. And also the transport trucks for the boards. I might go here. Now, let's start a line. By road vehicles, a horse wagon. Okay, it's 15 kilometers per hour. So it's got 2.7 horsepower, so possibly it's drawn by at least two horses, maybe three. Let's add some stuff. Um, Said line by road vehicles. Where can I make a line? I've forgotten. Said line. I know I need to go to the line manager. Okay. Can remember. Let's add a line, and let make th let's make that kind of green because it's wood. So let's start here and go to stations. Will be added after the. Okay. One, two. Um, let's also maybe rename it. Regigate. It's what's that? What they said? Like a how is that called? It's a forest. So let's call that Regigate. Oh, not Regigate, but Regate. Hello. I like to rename. Somehow I can't... Now I can. I need to double click apparently. Regate Forest. Okay, obviously it is just one R. Okay. Second you will go to Farmoth Sawmill. Falmoth. Uh, Falmouth, 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 Sawmill, okay, now I think this is new, load if available, let's go for full load, this is entirely new, full load, all full load, any load if available, let's go for to full load, any, but I would like to specify it, but maybe it's not possible because, um, it's, they've only got one good there anyway. Unload only. Yeah, because I don't want them to accidentally load uh, boards that they produced that did or could happen in previous versions. So this is new. We're going to call this uh, Regate uh, Forest to... Or just Forest to Sawmill. Okay, let's unpause. It's in depot. Oh, obviously I do need to give it a line. There we go. Also, I'm going to buy another road vehicle or maybe let's say, oh, I should give it a color. It should be green. Uh, can I give that a color still? I can. There we go. What is this plus? I've forgotten. Um, so green. Let's buy one, two, three. Set line to all. That's very handy. Forest to sawmill. Here they go. They all need to fully load. And we shall just see how many of them we need. They are pretty slow. We definitely need a... Uh, well, there's coal, but we definitely need the railway line. They need wood, or, or produce wood as well. They produce wood, which could be delivered to here. A 
There's a farm, there's more wood. Maybe it's just an easy passenger road. But, um, very indecisive right now what to do next. Farm might be good. Oh, it's a quarry and this is a coal mine now let's see this is a coal mine where does the coal need to go to who demands coal track speed limits oh I can see them apparently okay who wants coal Maybe cities. No for heating? No. Peter Lee coal mine. You know in uh, Transport Tycoon I used to build coal to power plant first. Quite often. But I don't see where I could send the coal to right now. They do want planks and steel. Don't have steel yet. So I might want to produce steel. Where could I do that? I do not know. Now I think this might be a nice train line. If I go up here and then down here and here. So maybe start with this one. Also, this is nice for passengers here, so let's do it. Train station, let's go for two tracks immediately. Um, am I far out enough? I do want... Is that a medium street? Small street? Let's build a medium street here. Or maybe actually here. Don't want to. Oh no, this is really expensive. I would have to tear down the building. Okay, now I don't. Oh, okay, very good. Okay, let's do it like this first. And then go down here and we can do like a round trip here as well in the train station planning ahead it'll have uh, two tracks we'll go here okay and then Peterborough This might become like a circle. Could also continue down here. Up here it mm, can be connected with this one. Could also become a terminal station eventually. Let's see. Let's build another one. It should be on the right side. So maybe here, somewhere up here, it will be served with a local transportation system as well, of course. I'm going to start with one standard track. And later we can be more specific. Okay, let's do it like this first. That's looking good. Let's go on the right side of this.
Okay. I've got, I've got the feeling that the system works slightly better, but it's quite even here, everything anyway, but I think that works quite well. Let's go this way. And let's connect it. Okay. Now the beginning I like to build as well because you know I don't want them to build houses there or something. Same goes for here. Now where should I put the train depot at the very end? Or maybe here? This could become like a more key uh, station. And this should be intertwined if possible. With some distance. Construction not possible. Hmm. Okay, I made I made it stupidly. As you can see, it's not quite working. Okay, let's do it again. There we go. And here as well, please. Yep, that's more like it. In case I need them to cross sides. There we go, and another one here. Okay, fantastic. Now it doesn't actually matter where I put uh, the, the thing. I think I'm going to put it here. Because there's lots of space. So like this, maybe. This will continue eventually anyway. So let's do it right now. So that I can plan ahead. Do I have enough cash? Yes, I do. Now this needs to kind of go this way as well. No, 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 not like this. A board. Let's build the depot first. Actually, maybe a bit further out. Cause so that a full train can kind of fit here. Game saved. I've got yearly save switched on just in case. Now the depot. Oh, that's quite a quite a, no, it's not that expensive. Okay. There we go. And now I need to connect it to this as well. It's not working, no it's not. You need to be quite careful that it actually fits. Okay, now this fits. Okay, now this should go like here. It can actually go straight through to here. Or maybe not, because they come from well, they couldn't come from this side, so it just needs to go here. Why is that not possible? Collision. With terrain alignment. Hmm. Too much curvature. Could I do it like this? I could. Okay, here we go. Sometimes you need to take baby steps. 
too much curvature. <laughs> now obviously I need to get the train on this side of the track. Like, like so. Okay, would that have been possible as well? Yes, it would. So let's do that. It's better. And destroy this. Okay. Now. I've got two train stations. Let's create a line. Okay, they are transporting. Why are you not making any profit? We shall see how that goes. Um, let's add a line and that would be a train line going to here and then here. Um, load if available. And that will be Centurst Raygate. Still got quite a bit of money, but now we need a train. Buy trains. I do think... Let's get maybe... Six. It should be capable of carrying six, shouldn't it? Maybe... Hmm. Yeah, let's start with six and then we shall see how that goes. Uh, you go on this line and you can start. I think they can turn in the train station, otherwise I would have to build like a circle or something. Okay. Now. Everything up here is not really connected. They do get their own depot because I think I might transport some of the wood here as well. By car... by... by cart. Or carriage. Oh, they've got us a lot of money. I'm running out of money, kind of. How's that going? I think this is going to be the first time you shall arrive. Is that a too far, actually, for you guys? Let's buy some more. In green, please. And set the line to all of them. There we go. There's lots of wood waiting. I think this might already be crappy. Let's see how much they pay. Okay, 5k. Okay, I'm going to make a profit, I think. Good. Every penny counts. It's the beginning of something big. Here comes the train. And I think it's possible to somehow... ...follow it. Yeah, like this. Let's see how we go to our first stop. can also change the direction we're looking at. This is so cool. This is one of my favorite features, actually. Um, that you can really, you know, ride your train in other vehicles. Let's deactivate that for a second. It's really helpful um, layer. I'm not quite sure that this has been implemented right from the beginning. The track speed limits is pretty much for sure new. Okay, here we go. Choo choo! Are there any people willing to hop on the train? I fear not. But I, if I recall it correctly, you need to activate the uh, the train station. Any station, in fact, by you know appearing there once. Yeah. And we've driven through that, so someone is waiting here. Let's start with a circular, circular ride kind of here. I'd like to kind of connect this. Let's 
going to be quite cheap. Okay. Hopefully I don't have to pay maintenance for that. Where shall I put the depot? Well, this kind of really needs to be connected in order for me to have a round trip. The depot here might make sense because there's um, there I can get wood. So I could maybe put the depot here. Just have one depot or maybe two. How much are they? I think they're like 10k, but what's the maintenance cost? Where's my finances? Huh. Information? List of all depots. How much are you? Hmm. Not quite sure where I can see my finance. Here, obviously. Okay, the depots cost quite some money. So I've only got like two depots and it's like 20k per year already. So I think it's worth just having one depot. Um, I'm going to put it in the middle and then we shall do some local lines in the next episode of Let's Play Train Fever. Hope to see you there. Until then, bye for now.